What's up guys, Big Z from On The Fringe Golf. Today we're here for another subscriber match play event. Adam Orta challenged me to a 18 hole course vlog out at Black Horse uh, where I took on Andres for a previous subscriber match play. So I want to see if I can defend my title. Now, we need your help to start growing this channel. We've gotten pretty good, we're about 1500 subscribers, but I need your help. Listen, if you're watching this video, please hit the like button. In the comment, type, on the fringe i need you to help me grow this thing to do that just type it in it's not that hard it's not that much of an ask please just type in on the fringe in the comment leave a comment down below that being said let's hover to that first tee box big boy adam ortha rips one right down the middle to get things started trying to intimidate me with that first tee shot whatever dude i'm not scared yes sir I'm going to follow that up with a bomb right down the middle by myself. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. We actually ended up maybe, yeah, I don't know, 10 no. yards from each other, left and right. Um, so about equidistant from the tee. Adam steps up from about 120 yards out, and he hits a good one here to the back of the green. I was like, no, no, no. You're not going to take my channel from me today, sir. Oh, well, I'll piss missile this one as the bunker in front of the flag. Damn it. Great start. So after a flubbed bunker shot that I didn't catch on camera, uh, this is actually my fourth shot. I get the ball out, um, which, woohoo, congratulations, Zach. So I need a mini miracle to happen. And look at this, Adam trying to keep me in this thing. Not a great putt there. So here's my attempt at a bogey. Ooh, I'm okay with that run. I gave it a shot there. So Adam, I need you to miss this one in the, oh. Okay. Oh well, how about this one too? That'd be nice. Um, I'll take take a miss. Oh, okay. I got a putt to tie this thing. Absolutely. Let me throw this thing in the hole real quick. Boom! All square after one. So this par three is awesome. You see, it's all over water. Um, the wind was whipping right to left, which is why this terrible camera work by me did not catch the ball land just on the left fringe there to the left of the flag. I hit one right on line with the flag. Unfortunately, the wind got a hold of it and it kicked it into the bunker there on the left. Um, so I've got yet another bunker shot. Got it out, but unfortunately the green was running away from me, so it just kind of took off. Adam taking the Texas wedge, which is a smart play. You saw how much mine ran out, and even that little tap that he did, it took off on him. So um, I need a long putt here um, to stay alive in this because he's clearly in the driver's seat currently. Bang! Thankfully, the hole caught that because I had some speed on that one. Um, if it didn't catch that, yikes. Very nice. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Damn it, Adam. Why? Ring around the rosy. He Get saves the it there. We're staying all square. Side. Adam yanks his to the left. Yep, we call that a tug job on our channel. And I have a block party of myself out to the right, so... Uh, this par 5 is playing straight into the wind, unfortunately, for both of us, so uh, we got some scrambling to do at this point. Got to make sure that tree is not going to get in my way here on the second shot, so I'm going to hit 3 wood, just trying to advance it as much as I can. I had to hit a little 3, three quarter sawed off 3 wood, and it was perfect. 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 Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So Adam hits a great 3 wood here. Just gets himself in good position, ball. which, again, that's the goal. Par yeah. five, we're playing into the win. We're not going to get there in two, so just give yourself a wedge in. Great contact with this. I just tugged it a little. Got a bad kick, so um, went off long left of the flag. Um, still not a terrible position. Uh, Adam's third shot. He's got a wedge in hand, and he just pulled this one as well. It ends up in that bunker there to the left. Um, which he's got some work to do. So, fourth shot. Ooh, four. That ended up damn near the next tee box. Not what you're looking for. So, my fourth shot here. Wedge Wizard, so you know I'm not going to hit a good one because that's just what I do. Um, but I'm on the green. Woohoo. So, Adam's fifth shot. 
this is a great shot. You know, when we were playing, I was like, oh, there's no way he's going to get this one in a close position. But honestly, look at that. I mean, he's got himself a bogey putt, and it's definitely makeable. For me here, I'm looking to win the hole. Oh. Well, put a bogey on the scorecard and uh, hope that Adam misses this bogey putt. Oh, what a oh Adam doing me dirty. All square through three. So this is number four, par four. The uh, four Playboys from Barstool actually played this one in vlog. Pretty cool. Um, Adam pulled his left into the bunker. And I hit mine past the bunker on the left. And I found some shaggy grass on the left-hand side. Not necessarily what I was looking for. And you'll see here long. why in a second. Just kind of scraggly and kind of looks like my beard, honestly. Uh, so it settled down. I had to hack it out and just kind of advanced it about 100 yards. There wasn't much that I could do with it with that lie. But I did find a golf ball. Adam caught the okay. lip there with the, his second shot. Unfortunately for him, he made great contact but just barely caught that lip. So both of us are now wedging up with our third shot. Mine ends up just a tad short, which did not want to see that, but unfortunately it did happen. So, Adam has an opportunity here. The door is open, and he throws a dart here. Woo! Almost shot. goes in the hole, about a foot past the hole. Um, I've got to do a Texas wedge here for my fourth shot, and it just oh. dies on me. Maybe another foot or more is <sighs> perfect, uh, but it just died right there on the fringe. So, hoping to make bogey here. Just didn't happen. Not today. So double bogey. Adam's got uh, a putt here to win it. Two putts to win it. Oh, no. that's good. All right. Well, that's a bogey for one up on for Adam. Adam pulls this one and there's hits this tree ball. on the left hand side. It does dribble past the bunker, which is uh, yeah. a good thing here. You got just want to miss that bunker off the the tee box. That water to the right definitely does come into play, though. So that's creeping into my mind. However, I hammered this one. Um, this one carries the bunker. I love it. Yep. Sweet. Oh, and that thing's going to run forever. That's what I like to hear, Adam. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> that's right, Adam. That's what I want to hear. So Adam, unfortunately, he caught this one a little heavy, and it clips that tree on the left, and it funnels down to a fun position. I've got about an A iron here. Oh, I'm just going to aim it right at the beautiful. flag. And man, that was Cutting looking right good. On on um, couldn't see where it landed, just the way the, the green was contoured, but it looked like it was going to be great. Here's Adam's predicament. I mean, what do you do with this? Honestly. Yikes. So, uh, Adam's going to try and knock it out. Oh, oh, well, you got oh, it out. shit. Well, he got it out. Uh, that was his third shot. So now, fourth shot here. Try to just get it on the green, honestly. He runs it up, and it's actually a great shot from there. Oh, I, you know, I can't complain with that. That's that's a great shot. So here's his long bogey attempt. And that's a great layup for your double bogey attempt. I mean, it's outstanding. So uh, I've got a lot of putts to win this. Why don't I just go ahead and make the call? There it is. Oh, just too oh, much guys. juice on it. Come on, Zach. So this is our double bogey attempt oh. here. And yikes. I'll give you that triple. You can pick that one up. Go ahead and make the par. And your boy ties it up all square. There you go. So Adam steps up here on this par three. Um, you'll find out why I am not stepping up here in a second. Uh, wind is whipping right to left here pretty hard. And unfortunately for Adam, it took his golf ball and ran with it. Well, I'm an idiot. I forgot to hit record. Hit a great tee shot. I know you don't believe me, but it's a good shot. Whatever. Dumbass. Yeah, dumbass is right. Adam hits his second shot into the bunker here. Yikes. Kind of an unfortunate uh, situation there. Third shot also ends up in the bunker. Huh. Um, so here we go. Fourth shot here. Now this one coming out of the bunker actually threatens the hole. Go in the hole. Very nice. Can I make a good call? Can I please make a good call? Yeah, 
not putting like that shit. Yikes. But tap and par, your boy goes one up. This is a fun par four, but it is tough. It angles to the that right. Um, I hammered this over that tree, that tall tree you see in the middle of the fairway there. Hammered it over, but it brought in other trees that I was not expecting. So you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. This one kind of sneaks out to the right for Adam. Unfortunately, he ends up in a very similar okay. predicament to what he had two holes ago. So same thing. And uh, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. Oh, yeah, here. same results, unfortunately. Sorry, Adam. So he hits his third shot here, punches it up. Actually, not a bad shot from there. I mean, there's just not much you can do with it. You got trees in the way. You got to move it to a forward position and give yourself a chance to wedge up and in. Here are the trees I was talking about. I did clip the tree with this. I was trying to wrap it around, and unfortunately, I did not. But I made it past the creek in front of the green between me and the flag you see there. Um, which is big. So, Adam with his fourth shot here. Actually hits a great ball. Uh, gives himself okay, a putt. Shot. He's not out of the hole quite yet because I've got a wedge in my hand and you guys know what's happening next. Yeah, exactly. Why, why do I suck at this? Honestly, why do I suck at golf? Anyways, uh, my par attempt here from way downtown. I'm just trying to mosey this up there, and I just have a little too much juice on it. So I've got got a market here. Adam wants me to leave it, but uh, let's see if he can make a bogey and put some pressure on me. Under pressure. Oh, not quite. It's a double for Adam. Um, that makes this a winnable hole if I make this putt. Beautiful. Ice in the veins. Big. Let's go, baby. Clutch. Your boy goes two up. We step up to the par five here. Now, there's a bunker straight away that I thought I would never reach, but guess what? I did. Uh, the, we were playing downwind, so I figured I've never been able to reach that bunker. I don't care how much wind there is. I'm not going to get it. Well, turns out I'm wrong. Adam, after seeing that, takes a three wood, which is probably the smart play, and get himself in good position. Here I am, the bunker. Obviously, par five. I'm just trying to get it out, give myself position to to attack the flag with my third shot. And Adam with his second shot, um, he makes good contact. From what we can tell, we see it hit cart path, but we don't see it cart stop path. rolling. Um, we'll have to go search for it here in a second. Stepping up again. Just a nice layup, about 150 yards. Unfortunately, the wind was whipping left and right. It got a hold of my golf ball and pushed it into the bunker greenside right. After a drop. Yep, Adam had to take a drop. We could not find that, so this is his fourth shot. Um, it, actually, great run-up shot there. Ends up just on the fringe. You know what that makes you, right? Huh. On the fringe. I'm on the fringe. Adam, very cool guy, happy to play with us, really enjoyed the round with him. So I get my fourth shot here, uh, just out of the bunker. Um, so we're both now hitting our fifth shot. Adam here, uh, just gets caught up in the rough there. He went with the Texas wedge and just not enough juice. I decided against that, I went wedge, wedge, and make a makeable putt there out of it. So just put a bogey up there, Adam's got to make that. Uh, no, never mind, because he had the drop. So your boy goes three up, heading into nine. I blocked this one out to the right. Unfortunately, not when I wanted that to happen, um, being <clears throat> the momentum is all on my oh. side. But Adam tops one here, so I'm looking pretty good, trying to get a good cushion going into the back nine. Adam hits a great three wood, but it kind of leaks Except out to the right, the right on him. Um, we don't catch it on the camera here um, because it actually lands behind one of those trees. Um, so we'll have to go uh, find it here know. in a second. So my second shot, I hit the gapper. Um, just dribbled it up, though, and I'm worried that's going to end up in the water. Uh, we'll have to see when we get up there. Here we are behind the tree that I was mentioning earlier. So Adam's third shot. Ooh, that's up there. Um, just on the front of the green there, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of a shot from over there. And here I am. Obviously, I'm not going to fall in the water, so I'm going to flip that club around. And we're going to go left-handed here, and I'm just going to scoop it up. 
Uh, unfortunately, I got a little too much on that swing, so I ended up in the bunker again. And again, the green is running away from me, coming out of the bunker, so no matter how much spin I try and throw on that bad boy, it's just not going to stop. So now Adam is all of a sudden in the driver's seat. This is his fourth shot. He's trying to make one from way downtown. Ooh, Ooh and he very Good nearly shot. does. So I've got to have this bogey attempt. And not to be. So make sure you follow up on the last nine holes coming out on Thursday.